Well, today we're talking about niggles. What's a niggle, you might ask? Well, a niggle is uh, something that causes persistent and consistent pain, discomfort, and just downright unpleasantness in your body. Uh, it's not an injury. Uh, it is different than an injury, but if not taken care of and treated well, uh, it can lead to an injury. So that's what we're talking about. Well, for the past week or so, I've been dealing with a pretty big niggle uh, in my left leg and the calf muscle and the soleus uh, specifically. And it's something I've been feeling for a couple of weeks now, just a little bit of, you know, like I said, a discomfort and kind of persistent feeling uh, down there of tightness and just a knotted calf. Uh, but this last week has been uh, much more painful versus discomfort. Uh, so much so that on, uh, let's see, what day was it? It was uh, Tuesday, I was supposed to do uh, a hill workout. Uh, it was hurting pretty good, so I actually just rode my bike instead. I listened to my body, it was telling me, hey, you've got something going on, it's not feeling great. And so I, I did just that, I, I listened to my body. Hold on, there's a car going by. Thank you, I'm trying to film here. But if you're finding this video interesting, entertaining, liking it, or you just think I'm weird, you know, hit that like button, that'd be cool. Uh, and maybe consider clicking that subscribe button too if you haven't already. So I did just that, I listened to my body and took a, not a rest day, but I rode for about 45, 40, 50 minutes, something like that. Uh, and yeah, so then on the next day, which was Wednesday, yesterday, I started out my run with just a real quick uh, three minute walk, like a really brisk walk and then uh, stopped for a little bit to stretch that calf muscle out, trying to get it loosened up a bit. And then ran for an hour, but just did a really slow run. I mean, like my heart rate average was 130 for the whole hour, so it was very slow for me. Um, but it's what my body needed. And right now, my, you know, walking, the calf is still not feeling great. So I let my coach know, sent him a message that, you know, I've been dealing with this pain and uh, so I might need to adjust some things here or there potentially and did some research and found that kind of what I need to do is some more strength training, uh, specifically, you know, calf raises. I need to work on my uh, ankle plantar flexors basically. So that's where the calf raises come in. I need to do those both flat and then on stairs, um, you know, to really get a good workout there. But then I also need to do uh, hops essentially where not like box jumps where I'm jumping up to, you know, a 24, 30 inch height, but just quick uh, repetitive hops. And that just simulates the motion of running of the foot, you know, striking the ground and then pushing off. And uh, that will help build up the ankle plantar flexors. Because for uh, the research I've, I've did on this, uh, people with previous ankle injuries <laughs> uh, often deal with this. And well, that is me, as you guys know, I, if you can see, I'm, I'm rocking the, uh, this is how I roll ankle shirt. I do have a history of ankle injuries, but I wanted to talk about niggles today because uh, they're important. You know, it's your body's way of telling you that, hey, something's going on here. You're not feeling great. You might need to take a break, take a rest, uh, or else this could turn into a serious injury. And, uh, you know, my wife has been dealing with uh, something as well. She did a long run, uh, been about two weeks ago now, where she was out. Uh, for like six and a half hours, it was just, uh, <laughs> it was, it didn't go really well to, to say the least, but uh, she kind of did something to her hip and she's been seeing a physical therapist for that. Uh, it has like a hip impingement is what they think it is. And it's just really uh, uncomfortable. She can't run with it. It's just a shooting pain right now. So she's been doing some swimming, uh, some biking, and she's uh, toying with the demons that come along with that in the head of whether or not I can do this or train this hard that I need to for no business 100 and and get this done. So she's trying to decide what's the best course of action for her, whether or not she can train and, and do the race, uh, honestly. So she's she's thinking about that right now. So be thinking of her help. Uh, hopefully she, you know, can make the best decision for what's uh, good for her body and uh, what she can do. But with niggles, um, you know, that's like my wife is going through and uh, those thoughts can creep into your head, you know, is, uh, you know, can I do this? Is this something I should do? And, you know, you can get depressed if you're not able to run, if it's something that you want to do uh, and you enjoy doing, you know, for your mental health. And if you're not able to do that, that can be a, <laughs> that can be a big thing. So uh, definitely know that that's possible and just try to stay positive. Do what you can, you know, like my wife is swimming. Uh, biking and she's getting enjoyment in that being outside and still getting um, you know some endorphins flowing through the body 
uh, which is great. You know, but for me, I'm not really concerned about my training. I know that I can do the distance. Uh, I know I've got a base that I can fall back on where my wife does not have that. But uh, so I am going to adjust my training though a little bit because I'm supposed to do a two hour run uh, Friday uh, and then another four hour run on Saturday, uh, which is probably a little bit much right now. I don't need to be doing that because my, my leg uh, would not like that. So I'm going to adjust it and probably just try to do an hour tomorrow easy and see how it feels. You know, obviously I'll do some stretching. Uh, we'll warm up first, then some stretching, some massage on the ankle or the the soleus, I'm so used to talking about my ankles, <laughs> on the soleus, uh, you know, my calf muscle. And then on Saturday, see how I feel. Uh, probably will not do four hours, maybe two hours if it feels okay. Uh, but just gonna really play it by feel and listen to my body. Uh, Cause I don't want this to turn into something serious to where it takes me down for several weeks. Uh, because right now we're, we're less than 60 days from the No Business 100 and I wanna be uh, as fit as I can and as healthy as I can at the starting line. That's the main thing. Arriving at the starting line, healthy. If you can do that, that's, that's a big thing. So that's the goal, be healthy. And one thing I need to remember to do is, uh, I need to remember to continue to do the strength training that's needed because that's what really helps uh, with this, you know, keep doing the strength training, keep those muscles strong, keep building up the, the muscles around all the tendons and everything that you need as a runner. So. As runners, we tend to get training and we focus on the running and forget the strength training a lot. And over the last four weeks, uh, I'm guilty of that. I've, I've not been doing much strength training, so I need to get back to it. And that's my plan. So anyway, just kind of wanted to chat today a little bit about uh, what I'm dealing with and let you guys know, kind of give you an update. But I uh, hope you all are doing great. If you want to take a look at the no business training run that we did just a week ago or so, you can take a look at that on your screen. It's a great video, really informative about the No Business course. Uh, or you can take a look at another playlist of some gear reviews. So thanks for watching. Appreciate you all. And I'll see you on the next one. And of course, another truck. No.